Hey, what's going on? In this video, we're gonna be talking about the SL100 bicolor, how it shapes up in a fight against the beloved SL60, as well as some of the other features that you need to know about you can't just read on a spec sheet. And so, let's get to it. All right, so the first thing you wanna know is usually what comes in the box. And of course, you're gonna get the light, you're gonna get this reflector, you'll have a lamp cover for transport, a power cable with this nice branded cable tie that I really enjoy, and a one year Godox warranty if that's something you're into. So this specific light is the bicolored option that comes in at 229 US at this current time of the video, or you can get the daylight option of the SL100 for only 159. The bicolor option has a range of 2800K to 6500K. With a CRI rating of 96, this light offers some very accurate colors, which is especially important when you're working with a bicolor light. One of the most important things that doesn't show up on a spec sheet is build quality. So while the SL100 is lightweight and made of plastic, it definitely feels like it could handle a few hits and drops. It seems to me that the buttons and knobs on this light are made very well and will last a long time with a good tactile response and very little wiggle room. The added plastic cover to protect the LED chip is a really, really good upgrade because probably the number one thing that kills these lights is something bumping into the chip and damaging it and making the light useless. So protecting that is awesome and I really like that. The Bowens mount latch feels more solid than the SL60 and definitely more responsive. One of the things that I really love about this light is the fact that it doesn't depend on a junky plastic remote. Instead, they built an app that is really helpful, super easy to use, and make sure you get the Godox Light app and not the Godox Photo app like I did when I was unboxing this. And if you wanna see that, you can check out this video here. So anytime that I review gear or I'm making a video like this, I wanna answer questions that don't show up on a spec sheet. And so one of the big questions that you may have that I had even when I was buying this was how is the fan noise? And so let's do a test right here. You know, a lot of times you watch videos like this or you read the spec sheet and you can see what effects are built into the lights, but no one ever demonstrates them. And so if you're interested in that, I'm gonna do that for you here. If not, feel free to scrub forward in the video. So as you may know, the SL60 has been a staple for any budget filmmaker or YouTube content creator. And so I don't wanna hate on that light at all, but the only place that the SL60 really beats the SL100 bicolor is cost. And so if you can afford the 230 bucks to get the SL100, you're gonna have a better, more flexible light. And here are some of the things that you'll definitely notice right off the bat. Any comparison done between the SL100 and SL60 really does need to be done at 5600K just because it seems fair. What I noticed about the SL100 is that it has a smoother, less hot spotting output, a higher output for general brightness. It also is capable of dimming down to 1% compared to the SL60 stopping at 10%. The SL100 also has Bluetooth, which means you can control it with an app, set it up in scenes, and do a lot more things without having this junky plastic remote that you'll probably lose and didn't even come with batteries. The last thing that I really like about the SL100 is that they covered the LED chip. So your softbox, none of the mounts that you put on are actually gonna bump the chip and break this light. It seems really small, but it's definitely something for longevity and durability that's really, really helpful. Okay, so if you have any questions left that I didn't answer, make sure you throw them down in the comments section. On your way scrolling down there, don't forget to like the video. It really helps the channel. Consider subscribing for more content like this. And as always, you know I'm going to say it. Stay creative. See ya. Damp. What's that damp? Why is your coffee mug jingling? Well... I drink LaCroix out of my coffee mugs.
They'll seem more sophisticated and less like a sucker hipster that drinks fake soda. But still good.